What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we're back with another ARC story episode for you guys today. Today, guys, we're going to be doing the... Well, we're going to... I mean, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to do my best to try and build a breeding area. So, we've got our Dodicarus down here. We've got Blubber with us. We're just pretty much going to farm a bunch of resources. Uh, we will be built... I was like, why is this stone not breaking? We will be building everything out of stone. Um, for this, I was thinking wood, but then I was like, nah, we'll just do it out of stone. So, we've got good old Blubber here. He's going to help us out by literally... Whoa, chill out, big fella. By holding all of these materials for us, because we definitely cannot hold them. He's still got all the tech, uh, all the element stuff in him, so we're just going to have to... Cruise around with him like that for a bit. Let's get him on follow, and we'll come over here and harvest up all these. But yeah, pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to get a bunch of stone, wood, and thatch... Um, and we're just gonna go make a bunch of stuff. Our plan, I was thinking of doing it on another story, like another level of where we are, but we're actually not. So what we're gonna do is, you can kind of see it from here. So if you guys remember correctly, we always, we always get stuck on this level. Um, so it's like the lower ground level and then there's the level up where our base is. We're gonna build the breeding area in that lower area. But, I was like, where's Blubber? But we're going to be doing it um, on this side of the map. Because on the other side, it's not as big. So it's kind of like, uh, not as good. But we're going to be doing it out of fence foundations and walls. And foundations. If that makes sense. Because of the fact that we don't want anything falling off the edge. So we're going to be doing it like that. Um, let's drop all of that. Give me that. What level is that enforcer? Wherever he may went. We also did a quick metal run and got a bit of extra metal to get that cooking up in the, um, just to get that cooking up in the industrial forge while we're down here doing all this stuff. So we've got that going on, um, but our mammoth should already have heaps of uh, wood and thatch for, for us anyway. So let's grab this. But I'm not too sure how many foundations we're going to need, so I just definitely want to come prepared with a bunch of stone and whatnot. Um, there's no more stone over here though. Is there... We've got these little river rocks, which are probably one of the best ones we can use to get stone. Because there's just so many of them. Um, and unfortunately Shazam did die last episode, which super sucks. But we're just going to move on from it. And, um, and yeah, I don't think we're going to do another element vein drop until we get another Mantis. So we'll probably do another episode where we actually go back to Scorched Earth and... Go about getting some more eggs and another mantis tamed up because that's probably our best bet. We got plenty of crops on the other maps. So we can make plenty of bug repellent and all that sort of stuff. And I think we had heaps left over anyway. So, yeah. How much stone have you got? What are we getting attacked by? Swing your tail, big fella. Terrible. Let's just do that. Blub is fine. Blub can take it. He's only taking three damage per shot. We'll just kill it. I was going to bring my sword out, but I'll probably kill Blubber in the process, to be honest. Alright, let's keep going down here, and we'll keep mining up these rocks right in the river here. Look at them all. And our Dodic swims faster in the river anyway. See? Much easier. Except for the fact that there's only three damn freaking rocks in here. Wonderful, that worked out great. Alright, well that's honestly probably enough stone. We're going to fly over to our Mammoth, and we'll hit up our Mammoth. Whoa. Um, where the hell did Blubber go? Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you flew off to, mate. I don't know what we did wrong. So, yeah, we're going to head over to the Mammoth. We'll grab the wood and the thatch. And then that should be pretty, pretty much everything we need. Alrighty, guys. Just finished in harvesting up a bunch of wood with good old Mammoth the Mammoth over here. We're going to drop it off in Blubber. And that's honestly probably going to be enough of our, for... Literally all the wood we could possibly want, I reckon. Um, so let's dump all that in here. Blubber's still holding up in terms of weight. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed, although I think we're reaching that limit here. Yeah, we definitely reached that limit. I think he might be too heavy for us to carry. Actually, no, because it should be fine, because we can just carry him with the wyvern, and I'm pretty sure our wyvern just won't cap out, right? I don't know, let's see. We're going to drop all this off in here. Yeah, you can carry Blubber fine. Blubber is pretty much weights full. 
Um, but we can just carry him with our wyvern, which is awesome. Why have we got battle music playing for? Is it that thing? Yep, it was the Icti. I am genuinely just as surprised as you guys that I managed to shoot that guy. Alright, uh, we've got our Megalo here. Oh, he's got more stuff on him. I didn't even realize. He literally has heaps of stuff. Can we ride you? Um, let's come over here. Main reason being because we want to take this guy out to get some thatch. You got heaps of good stuff on you. Okay, let's whack it all in here for now. Promise we'll come back for it. I'm not forgetting it, guys. I promise. Um, and that, and I think that was everything. The poly? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, we got a bunch of thatch in there. I just saw it as well. You got two levels. We're going to go wait here. And we're going to go smack some trees over here. And that should be all our thatch covered. Um, and then we should be good to go. We should be able to breed, uh, breed. We should be able to build our breeding area. I'm hoping. Is that all the thatch you get? Okay, maybe you're not the best thing. I should probably just use my pickaxe, to be honest. Oh, I should have just brought Scythe. Scythe would have been the way to go. I forgot that this guy is like a super low level anyway, as well. Like, what level is he? 93. Oh, okay. He's not as low as I thought he was. I was thinking around like the 60 mark. So he definitely should be getting a bit more thatch than this, I reckon. Oh, well. It should be enough thatch anyway once we're finished gathering it all. Plus, I guess I haven't leveled up his melee damage all that much. Two, so like, it's kind of, it is what it is. Let's just drop all that. And we'll go melee damage. He only has 154 melee damage too. We'll harvest all these trees. Seriously, guys? We'll harvest all these trees in this area anyway, but I didn't even check how much thatch we actually had. Just don't hit the stego. Or anything else for that matter. Well, I mean, we've pretty much cleared out all the trees here. I do like the flying Megalo trying to attack stuff. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, so how much thatch have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. About 1,600. I'll hit this tree here, and then we'll probably return to base, to be honest. Because I reckon that'll do us in terms of resources, I reckon. And worst case scenario, we just spend a bit of time off camera gathering some more resources for you guys. So you don't have to th sit through the tedious process of us um, trying to get the resources. Alright, let's grab all of this. This should fit on Blubber without an issue as well. No, he's slot capped. What I might do is I might drop one stack of wood. Just because we don't need wood as much as stone. Alright, cool. That's all that done. Let's grab Shazam. Not Shazam, this isn't Shazam. I got, I got excited for a second there. I was like, Shazam lives. Shazam's dead. Alright, let's go back for another swoop. Come here, Blubber. Gotcha. Alright, that honestly amazes me about the weight thing. I genuinely had no idea that that would be the case. We're going to go stamina on this big boy. And we're going to get back to base and build the crafting area. Alrighty guys, so we're back at base and this is where I'm talking about. Pretty much just along here. I think there's enough space for everything. Because um, this is kind of equivalent to this sort of section up the top here. Which is the main reason why we're doing it down here. Because it's kind of equivalent. We just don't get the whole middle section. Um, and it's on like the same level as us. So I'm thinking over there. Um, I don't really want to build it on this floor. Because that's kind of our wyvern storage area along there. Oh shit, there's an egg over here. Rip, there was an egg over here. Um, because you were breeding, aren't you? Yeah, that's fine. Three minutes. Uh, yeah, so... I'm thinking that this will be our breeding area. Now, as for the gigas, I'm thinking of putting them in a separate area, just because they're so damn big. Um, but what we can do is we can already start making some of the resources, so we just need to come over here to Blubber. And have you guys produced any more babies? No. We've still got that black pearl gacha baby in our inventory as well. Um, holding on to that till this is built up so that we can actually put it down without having to worry about it dying. As you guys are probably well aware of our gacha kill streak. Alright, so we want stone. And we want some foundation. So let's go 10 of those. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to actually put... 
the air cons inside the foundations. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to leave a space for where we're going to have them. You're probably way too heavy, aren't you? Yeah. Just need to craft these up. Um, so we're going to have a space for where we will put the foundations. Um, put that there. You can go back there. I need some of that. Okay. So that should be fine. Um, I was going to use fence foundations, but we should be able to line that whole back bit with foundations themselves. So that should be fine. Plus, there's no real point in us using fence foundations when um, we're not going to get any structural integrity with them. Alright, so they're breeding again, but we should be able to move here. We might need a lot more foundations than I anticipated. Hold on. There's a drop just over there. Let's check this out as well. If it's a yellow, we'll probably do it. If it's not a yellow, then we'll probably just skip out on it, to be honest. What are you? purple I'm not going to bother I think there's another one over there as well I haven't checked that one before all right we'll do that later that's fine I was also thinking about doing the breeding area over here because we can actually get to it from our platform um, but I'm not sure what we'll do over here I don't know because there's a nice little flat area here as well that we can use maybe a greenhouse I don't know I'd like having I like the idea of having our base sort of spread out all right let's come down here we are going to need to build a bloody ramp up as well Cause I'm sick and tired of not being able to get up there. Alright, so... This is gonna start... Probably here, to be honest. But we just need to make sure that it's all lined up. So... Our best bet is probably to just whack one... On this corner, like that. Right? That should snap all the way down, and that should snap all the way down. Let's test it. Let's make sure. Yeah, we're looking good here. Yeah, awesome. That's definitely what we wanted. Alright, so... Yeah. And pretty much we're just going to build straight across. And I'm now realizing that we are going to need a shit ton more foundations. Um, so let's get this bare bones sort of done first. Okay, we're already out of foundations. Yep, cool. This is going to go swell. This is going to be the giganticest breeding area you've ever down seen. Um, yeah. Okay, there is a lot of space here for breeding, so we should be fine. Alrighty, guys. So we've got about 34 foundations made up. Now, I don't think I'm going to go the whole way along. Honestly, I think that's probably enough space. Because we just want an area for the air cons and for like the babies to raise up. So I don't think I'll go the whole way along. I reckon that's honestly probably enough. How many foundations have we got? We've got 30 more. We're almost gone through the rest of uh, the resources here. We're just going to do that and go like that and get some more crafting up. But honestly, I reckon that's okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go one more line, I think. And then what I will do is I'll then go about doing the air cons in the floor. And then, shit, that should be enough space for everything that we need to breed. Alright, cool. Um, can we make more? Uh, maybe I don't want to make more. Maybe we'll hold off on it, just in case we want the resources for, like, wars and stuff. Because I do want some wars in order so that nothing falls off the edges. Yeah, let's get some wars going. I'll grab all of that. Grab that, grab that, and we'll grab some extra wood, and we'll make 16 of those. I could make the big boy walls. I couldn't just make them out of wood, too, to be honest. I might make the rest of them out of wood. Because we don't really need them out of stone, and wood is probably the easier option. Because we can just use the mammoth. But I reckon that's enough. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do another couple of foundations, and then in the center we're going to have a bunch of air cons. Um, so we'll just wait for this to finish crafting up. We've got one more left. Cool, well, let's whack this all in here. So that I can move. And we need to suck some air in because otherwise... Uh, we're not going to be able to get up the top here. Okay, thank you very much, Blubber. You're a legend. Alright, perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so we need a bunch of air cons. We need our tech generator, which we can't make yet. So electric... We're mainly needing metal. Do 
I have any organic nodules on anyone? I would rather use the organic nodules than um, our pure poly that we have. Just because it's obviously better. Um, I'm going to grab an extra stack of cementing paste out. But it does not look like we've got the extra nodules anywhere. Which I thought I did have some floating around here somewhere. Grab an extra stack of those. No. I might just do a quick dip out and get a couple of extra corrupted nodules. So that we don't have to dip into our pure organic... Uh, our pu uh, pure poly. Because um, that would suck. Wait, what else was I getting? Is that it? Structures, electric, crystal, electronics, polymer. Actually, you know what we can do? If I'm not mistaken, if we come out over here... Are you still producing? You've eaten through all those damn seeds. God dang. Alright, uh, what we'll do is... I'm pretty sure in you... There are a bunch of gacha crystals. I don't know what they do. I don't know which ones we got. 11 poly, 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 oil, poly, 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 oil, oil, poly, poly, poly. Alright, awesome. I'll take it. So, we just got a bunch of... Uh, what should we call it? I don't know how much we got. How much did we actually get? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 145. 125. Not a bad amount. I think we only need five poly per aircon. But we want enough for like wyverns and stuff like that to be able to incubate. So let's drop all that in there. Structures, electric, we just need the metal. Which thankfully we can get relatively easy. Grab that out. Chuck that. Structures. Structures. Electric. Uh, we'll make seven. I'm going to take this out. Just in case. I don't want it using our, uh, our poly. I didn't even think of that. We've got 1,213 poly though. Damn. I think what we're going to need are the crystal. Um, we don't need to worry about light. I will probably make a refrigerator for it as well. I don't need any of that. Don't need that. Don't need that because we're going to be using a tech one. Probably don't need that as well. We just yeah, really just need the air cons really and maybe a fridge or two. Oh, we need more metal actually. Alright, that's fine. We can get more metal. Oh, we didn't put the two stacks in, I don't think. Yeah, we did. Just, how much metal do we need for them? Oh, 80. Okay. Alright, let's do that. I can't move anywhere else because of the poly. Which kind of sucks, but eh, it's fine. We'll just keep taking out more metal. We can get more metal relatively easy anyway. I'm not too worried about it that much. And grab another stack of that. And put that in there. And we need crystal now. Alright, that can all go back in. And I'll grab the crystal out. Of course, I'm over encumbered. Why am I so heavy for? Oh, because I got the 27 stone foundations. That's bloody why. Put that in there and take that out. I'm going to take the poly out again just in case. I'd rather be on the safe side of things. All right, so how many have we got? We've got 6, 12, 13. All right, we'll go a couple more. And that should be enough. I reckon that'll be enough. I think we need a bit more metal. Yeah, we'll go one more. One more and then that'll do. And we'll make a refrigerator. We don't need that. Uh, let's come in here and just check to make sure there's nothing else that we really need. We're going to get the tech trough. I don't think there's anything else. Industrial cooker could go over there, but I don't like using that thing because we need the water source. And it's a bit harder up where we are located because we don't have a water source. So we might struggle with that. But I think that'll do. We got all that made up. Let's grab that into there. Uh, take that out, I guess. Swap it with the real stuff. Put the rest in. Cool. Um, yeah, that'll do. Let's grab these air cons out. Still not over encumbered. Awesome. That can go back in. That can go in. And the fridge. Alright, cool. So, let's grab you, buddy. Come with me, mate. We need to get you some food, I know. I apologize, buddy. Alright, and deflate for me. And you can go some more weight. Alright, cool. So, yeah, I would say here we'll probably do. Oh, you know what? I didn't make a ladder. Can I make a ladder? 
thatch and wood. Thatch, wood. Beautiful. Ladder. We're going to make some ladders so that it's all placed nice and straight. Because I hate it when things aren't placed straight. Uh, relatively speaking, that is, anyway. Um, that'll probably do. Okay, put that away. Grab the ladders. Alright, let's get these out here. So, that's only... So, I think we'll start from... Let's actually get some more of these down. Because, like I said, I want it to make... I want to make it sort of centred. It's not going to be perfectly centred. But, I'm not that bothered. I mean, I am a little bit, but I'm not. Okay. That'll do. So, we'll start placing the air cons. How many long have we made this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, shit. We'll go one more in. And we'll put our air cons here. How many foundations have I got left? Eight. So we'll put our air cons here. Um, let's put that down. Can we climb it? Yes, we can. Beautiful. This is going to be the fun part, having to do this. Is that floating? Let's go into K mode here. Alright, and we want these, I guess, in the middle of the foundations. We'll come back a bit. Okay, and this is what we got to do. Go along like this, and uh, yeah. Normally, I'd build a uh, build the I'd build the platform going up with uh, the ramp, and then have the air cons all underneath. But honestly, that's annoying because the babies glitch through, and I'm hoping if we do it like this, that won't be the case. But deep down, I know a part of me knows that this is probably not going to work. Because they'll still probably glitch through anyway. Okay, that'll probably do. And what we'll do is we'll go forward now. Cool. Like that. And we'll just keep going forward and just do the rest of these like this. I'm not too worried about the placement of these guys because they all just snap inside of each other anyway. As long as they're all relatively okay. We'll get this a little bit further out. Like that. Perfect. Alright, I reckon that looks okay. Hopefully we got enough air cons there. Uh, and our foundations still place. Wait, do I bother with having... Foundations? Because if I... Eliminate the need for foundations, then they surely shouldn't glitch into the foundations at all, right? So why don't I just leave this big open area like that? And we just build around like this. And we just have that for the babies to hatch in. I should have probably done... Yeah, you know what I should have done? I should have done it in the middle so that we could utilize both sides. Actually, you know what? We still can. So now we can actually utilize both sides of this. Like that. And we go like this. Yeah. So now we've got kind of like two little storage areas for... Not storage areas, but like hatching areas for the eggs. So I think that'll be... I think that's a good idea. I may have cut off too many. And then what we'll do is we'll chuck the tech generator here and the fridge on the other side. I'm happy with that. And then that gets rid of the need for us having to worry about them glitching in the foundation. Like they're uh, renowned for. So that's that done. Let's come into here and we'll grab that. And then these stone walls are mainly just going to be so that the babies don't walk off the edges. Because what we're going to do anyway is we're going to be moving the gigas when they hatch. I don't want them raising up over here. Because if we let them raise up over here they will definitely, definitely positively walk off the edge. So, like, once they get bigger, they can walk over one height. So, I think if we just go like that. We chuck the rest over here. I mean, I'm 
kind of happy with that, to be honest. I think that looks all right. These air cons are all lined up pretty straight. I think, I think these ones are a bit wonky, but that's fine. And we'll chuck the generator there. We can chuck the fridge on this side. And that'll be our breeding pen. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty stoked about that. Uh, we got extra resources in here, which I don't think we really need to bother about doing. Now, the moment of truth, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if we can make the tech replicator. For that first, though, we're going to need to make another fabricator, which I should be able to snap next to this one. Structures. Crafting. I need a bit of oil and spark powder, which I have plenty of. Both of those things. Thank you. Yoink, yoink. And then I think I have my canteen. Yeah. No. No. Um, and then what we can do is we can go structures, craft, and, and hopefully we can fit everything we need for the tech replicator in a fabricator, which I think we can. So let's take a little gander and see how we do. Do I still have my ladders? I do, thankfully. I don't know if I'll be able to place it up the top there because the industrial cook is in the way. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, I have an idea. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll go like this. And that should enable us to hopefully snap it up there. Just shy of it. Ugh. Can I get up on this railing? No. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, Alright. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to just figure out a way to get this up there. Which I'll probably just use another ladder or something to climb up on. Actually, that's a good idea. We chuck a ladder here and climb up it. Jokes, it's in there. Alright, let's figure this out. Alrighty, guys. We've got the fabricator up and running. It's uh, opposite to the other one, which I kind of think it looks cool like that. So... We're going to try and see if we've got everything we need for the tech rep, and then we can probably get that today as well. Crafting. All right, so we need the crystal. We need, I think, black pearls is the main thing we're missing. Element, metal ingots, and polymer. Okay, let's grab all our poly. I think it's at 700. Structures, crafting, 800. So we need one more. Boom. Crafting, we need the 5k metal. Five K metal. We have six hundred and forty-seven. I don't think that reaches though. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll just transfer it all into this fa uh, fabricator next to us. All right. So that's thirteen hundred metal there. That's two thousand. Should keep an eye on when this is getting full. Oh, we got heaps. Come on. I mean, even if we need a little bit more metal, it's not too strenuous to get. We just go kill our bunch of bloody enforcers and we can pretty much slot cap ourselves in um, 10 minutes or so. Well, not slot cap. That's a tad bit overkill, but quite a bit. Actually, this will be able to tell us when if we've got enough metal. We're just shy. 4,636. So we're a little bit on the lack inside of metal, but that's okay because we only need like 300 more. Which we can probably do now, actually. I might get the tech replicator as well. We might try and get that done today. Um, because, yeah, we got the breeding area sort of done. Actually, yeah, I think we have the breeding area done. I just need a few more foundations and some more walls. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And what we'll do is we'll go kill a bunch of enforcers. And we'll go get some black pearls. And then we should be good. Um, and then we should be have enough stuff to get the tech replicator. I hope I'm transferring it into the right one. Okay. And that can get dropped. I can go back in there. Um, we need the crystal. Honestly, do I have enough metal, actually? Grab that as well. I know I've got metal in the smithies, but I don't know how much. 42... Okay, we don't have enough metal. Uh, I'll grab the black pills out of that. Out of that. And we'll grab a bit more crystal. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I reckon we can get the tech replicated today as well, to be honest, guys. Which is pretty cool. Uh, put that in there. 
It depends on how we go with the getting the black pearls, I guess. Crafting, what do we need? A few hundred more crystal. And then it's the black pearls. And there's one other thing. Oh, and element, obviously. Okay, we need 80 more crystal. I transferred one, do that. Put that back away, split that. We want 80. We want 80. That can go back away. Awesome. Alright, put that in there. That's the crystal done. We'll grab the element out as well. 100 of that. So we've still got 135 element to play with. Plus, I think there's more on Blubber. I'm pretty sure we still got... Yeah, we still got the element on Blubber. Let's do that. Whack that in... No, we don't need that. But it's fine. It can go in. No, we don't. I don't know how much space we'll need. Um, structures. Crafting. Alright, so now we just need the Black Pearl and a little bit more metal. So, let's get that sorted. Ring you guys back when we're uh, going out for the Black Pearls. Because I'll probably take the... I think we'll take one of these new Gigas out and see how they perform out there. But they're on 35k health, which already they've got double the amount of health that their mum had. Because she only had 18k, I think. We've got some baby gatches here. We've got sap oil. I don't want any of that. Obsidian and silica pearls. I'm pretty sure every obsidian gatcher that I have gotten has died. So I'm going to cry this guy up as well. We can pair him up with the black pearl one. Um, I should probably raise that black pearl one as well, but we'll do that after because we need the initial 150. Um, let's take uh, one of our wyverns. We'll take blubber down. How much weight have you got, blubber? And we'll just fill him up with metal. So let's do that. Alrighty, guys. We've got the scrap metal cooking up, so that's all sorted. Uh, we're going to go take one of these gigas out, and we're going to go take it for a test run and see how he performs. Uh, I do need to get a saddle for him. I don't know if the dad has a saddle. Which I didn't even think about. Um, but yeah, we're just going to probably turn off... Yeah, he does have a saddle. We're going to turn off harvesting and we'll just... Oh, look, we got two eggsy. Um, and we'll just keep the, the black pearls and the corrupted hearts and stuff like that. We got one fertilized giga egg and one normal giga egg. I'm going to put them in the mama for now. You can stay there because we're going to keep a hold of your stats so we know how much you have. You can give me that. And, uh, yeah, we'll take one of these baby gigas out, see how they go. They're definitely, I think they hit, they're going to hit harder than the mum did. Um, and, yeah, we'll see how we can go with Black Pearls. Hopefully we get quite a few. Alrighty, guys, and, uh, we're flying out to where we're going to go get some Corrupted Hearts. I'm thinking just, like, out here is where we can make our way up there. And, uh, there's a 25k freaking LMM vein drop, which I'm honestly tempted to do. However, we don't have, a uh, Scythe or Blubber or anything with us. So, I'm like, oh, man... I might do this one off camera, I don't know, or maybe we'll save it for next episode. Nonetheless, this is very tempting to do, especially uh, considering our last one went so bad. But we're going to get our first batch of Black Bells. I'm going to throw our Giga out, and we're going to cryo up our Wyvern, because I don't want anything happening to our Wyvern. And, uh, yeah, I might come back to this Element Vein drop, to be honest. It's very tempting. Alright, let's go munching for some Black Pearls, some Corrupt Hearts. Hopefully we can get heaps of both, so that... Farming will be a little bit easier. Uh, modify harvest settings. Disable victim item collection. Resource harvesting. Alright, so we shouldn't collect any meat or anything like that when we consume their corpses. But we should still get the black pearls and all that. Which means that... Uh, oh my god, these guys hit a lot harder. Yeah, here we go. See, this is a lot easier now. So we're not going to get weighed down super quick or anything like that. We still have a bunch of meat on. Oh, because he harvested that first body. Let's just drop all this. I mean, 10 seconds in and we've already gotten 7 pearls. So I think we're doing alright, I reckon. Uh, but let's keep munching. We're going to make our way up here. Hopefully we don't come across any gigas. There's one right there. But even if we did... That's a giga too. There's two gigas there. This is a bad idea. Let's back it up. Um, yeah, okay. We've just got to be careful. There's a bunch of gigas. Maybe we shouldn't go this way. Let's just turn around and go the other way. We definitely do not want our brand new baby hatched Giga to uh, to die here on the first run. Because that would be soul wrenching. And yeah, we don't want that to happen. So, oh shit, looks like we're not going to have a choice. This is only a level 5 one. I say that. But we still don't know how strong they are. 
I am impressed with the 1200 damage that we are hitting for. Which is pretty good. Hopefully we can get some more non-giggers down here. I've got a bunch of Rexes. Which I'll take. We're only taking about 150 damage. We do need a better Giga Saddle Blueprint as well, which would really help out, I reckon. Um, let's go melee damage here and pray our dude don't die. I'm not sure if I'm seeing Blood Specs already or not. We're seeing Blood Specs on us. I'm not seeing any on, any on the Giga here in front of us. This is only a level 5 one as well. So, oh, okay, there we go. Wait, what? How did you not drop anything for us? Why did we not get that? I don't know why we didn't get that for. It's not like he's weighed down or anything. Um, so we took about 5k damage from that fight. Which, against a level 5 Giga is pretty good. But uh, we probably don't want to be doing that again against any of these other Giga at the top here. We may have to be going to another region. It's very select when it wants to give us the, the stuff, which sucks. I don't know why it does that for. Um, Alright, but we've already got 11, so we're at 14. So, slow and steady wins the race. Bring you guys back when we've got, uh, hopefully, enough Black Pearls or we're, we're dead. One or the other, really. Alrighty, guys. We have found pretty much the mother load of not dangerous stuff. Stuff that we can kill where there's no Giggers involved. Um, so, I'm hoping we get some decent stuff off them. We can pretty much take everything on bar the, re uh, bar the Giggers. So, like, as long as we're fighting that, but we're at 30... Oh, shit. That's a white one. That's going to hurt us. Can you stop doing your roll, mate, and kill it? That's a Giga there. We don't want to go that way, that's for sure. All right, let's just keep running this way. Um, yeah, so we're at 279 melee damage, which is... I mean, it's decent. Uh, and how many pearls have we got? 39. So we're one-fourth-ish of the way there but i'm thinking after we hit up this we're gonna head to that oil lake place uh because i know there's a bunch of like spinos and paraces out there so i think that's probably our next best bet but it's frustrating how sometimes we don't collect stuff and i don't know why we don't get it it's weird because like we're not there's no way we're over in company oh my god they weigh 100 i'm gonna hold on to those anyway because we can i'm pretty sure those are boss tributes but see what i mean we just killed that Rex and we didn't get its its body bag, which is two black pearls and a corrupt heart. So I don't know why sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're still just going around killing everything that we can see, but uh, it's paying off. So yeah, we're going to make our way down here, try and avoid this Giga. Beautiful, I'll take it. And uh, even if we have to take a little bit of full damage here and there, it's fine because we don't want to fight the Gigas. Unless they're like level 5s. And that guy's a level 55, so we don't want to fight that. Alrighty guys, we're in another area and uh, this is where we were going to build our base. I was like, alright, where else can I think of that has the big boys that's relatively safe from Gigas? And uh, then I remembered this place where we were going to build our base. And lo and behold, we're getting some pretty decent stuff. Although, uh, like I said, I don't understand why we're not getting all of it. Because, like, we're missing out on some pretty serious stuff here. Um, let's just drop this, make sure that we're... I don't know whether or not to keep these arms or hold on to them. Let's just put them over here. Maybe that's why. Um, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. But we've, we've gotten a decent amount of hearts and black pearls. Um, I say black pearls and we've literally gotten five more since the last time. Um, but yeah, we're doing alright, I guess. We're just going to have to wander around for a bit longer and keep attacking stuff. And hopefully we get... I mean, it's kind of a win-win situation anyway, because we get the Corrupt Hearts as well. Which we're going to need to farm for anyway later down the road. So, like, I'm genuinely okay with it. I will need to feed my Giga at some point, though. He is starting to starve. Alrighty, guys, it has been a while, and uh, we've been busy. So, we finished up in the wastelands. We were like, alright, this isn't really working anymore. We got 55 black pearls, 72 corrupt hearts, which, you know, I'm still happy about. 
But I was like, how about we go back to base, we raise this baby gacha that we had that, that had the black pearls, and we use that instead. Lo and behold, we raised it. Lo and behold, loot all the crystals we got. So we grabbed all our snow owl pellets that we had saved up, chucked them in here. We went and took um, me and the... Sh not Shazam anymore, because Shazam's dead. And uh, the gas bag went out. We went to find some forces, chainsawed them up, fed the scrap metal to the gacha. And we're doing all right. We got quite a few crystals. So let's crack these bad boys open. Apprentice metal pick. That's actually god tier because we can use that with our mantis now. Thank you very much, gacha. Um, and we actually got, yeah, like the ramshackle one. 141 damage, not bad. Um, but I'm going to come and open these over in the near the fabricator just in case. Because of the fact that um, we could get a bunch of black pearls. So, oh my god, 28? If I knew we got that many black pearls, I wouldn't have freaking bothered going out into the wastelands. Holy shit! That's a lot of black. Wow. Oh, oh, I really wasted my time there out in the freaking wastelands, didn't I? Holy shit, we just got 150 black pearls there. That is nuts. I don't know if it's anything to do with the, the snow owl pellets. So these ones haven't been with the snow owl pellets. No, we're still getting... All right, far out. That's awesome. So we're keeping this guy very close on hand. Because he's going to be key to get in tech. I did not know that they would... I, th I was expecting like 8 or 9 black pearls, not 21. Holy smokes. Alrighty, well, good news is... I'm thinking we can go about making our... Um, our replicator. There we go. The metal's all finished cooking up. I can't move because we're too encumbered. That's fine. Drop, drop. Equip that. And we can go like that. And we can go like that. And put that in there. Alrighty, crafting. What are we working with? Let's see. So, yeah. What I might do now is we might come in here and we'll grab all this poly. Um, and I think that's all the poly we have. You haven't given us any more crystals, have you? You did give us another baby gacha. Uh, we don't need another one. Wait, are you a male or a female? You're a male. If this one's a female, we can keep these two together and get them... Um, Pooping up black pearls and organic poly together. You are a female. All right, lucky. Your lucky day, little dude, you get to survive. All right, let's cry this guy up. We'll keep you alive for a little bit longer. Because we've got this one here in front of us, which is already an organic one. But if we have two organic poly gatches, that's going to be key to well do a lot of stuff. What I might do is we might take our wyvern out real quick. I'm going to get a bunch more... Uh, corrupted nodules, because we've got plenty of space in our fabricator to fit it. Um, and it saves us having to use our pure poly. So, we'll go out, grab a few more corrupted nodules, and we'll make our tech replicator, which is freaking exciting. Alrighty, guys, we're back at base. We've got a bunch of corrupted nodules. Let's get in here and make this freaking tech replicator. Whack it all in. We've got all this organic poly here as well. We actually have heaps of space for organic poly. I wonder if you can actually do it with all organic poly. I would say no, right? Alright, let's take a look here. Um, I'm not really fussed. We've saved on about 200 poly polymer. Um, yeah, so like I'll take it. Um, Alright, let's turn this sucker on. Let's make ourselves... Oh, god damn tech replicator. I'm just making sure there's no more organic poly anywhere. Um... Doesn't look like it. Hold on, what are these two? Gotcha. Organic poly, organic poly, black pearls. Yep. Might as well whack that in there as well while we're here. Cool. Uh, and the black pearls, and we go structures, crafting. We need to take out that. And how much do we need? 23. Split 23 of those. I hate when that happens. Done. 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 Alrighty, we are good to go. I swear I grabbed the gasoline. I did. Turn that on. Structures, craft, and here we go, baby. We got ourselves to egg. We got ourselves to egg. Alrighty, sweet. We got the tech replicator. Whack that bad boy down. I'm going to extend the foundations out a little bit because I'm going to whack this behind us here. Why can I not climb these ladders? Um, yeah, we're going to whack this behind us, I think. And uh, we'll do it here. We'll set it up in front of like the industrial forge so that it's uh, 
nice and neat. We can move through. We can whip everything up. Where is it? I was like, where to go? Yeah, sweet. All right, cool. Well, guys, uh, I should probably pay it, place this. How anticlimactic would that be? Hold on, I have to get these down first because we can't use this ladder. Well, we have tech, which means we can now go about getting whatever we want. Can I make another foundation real quick? No. Which I'm super duper keen about because, yeah, we're on extinction. Extinction, obviously, you, you, you literally use tech because you get so much element on this map. I definitely don't want that there. Do we want it there? Yeah. Done, baby! Let's go. We can still run through here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alrighty. We're here. We've got our tech. Finally. Oh, this is super satisfying. So next up, we're probably going to make the Enforcer, I reckon. Um, how much poly do we need? 181. 3,000 metal. Uh, no, dust. Yeah, wait. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the 135 one. Wait, I thought we needed more poly than that. I'll take it. Um, so yeah, I reckon we'll do that. Uh, we'll take on some nodes and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.